Hi, I'm Engineer Talenti. Here's another feature presentation from EC Department of Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Hi everyone! I'm Casey. I'm Grace. I'm Leonard. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Hazel. And we are the BSEC graduating batch of 2013 from Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. As partial fulfillment for the requirements of the subject thesis, under Engineer Rosalito Talentino, we are here to present to you and discuss briefly our project entitled Design and Implementation of Robotic Angle for Mimicking movement. This study is all about designing a robotic ankle that will mimic the movements similar to what a human can do and implementing the mechanism made by the researchers based on the human anatomy. The ankle refers to the angle between the leg and the foot and it's used to describe structures in the region of the joint proper. The ankle joint is formed by the connection of the three bones, which are the talus, fibula, and calcaneus. The talus is formed by the lower end of the tibia, also known as the shin bone. The fibula is the smaller bone of the lower leg, and the calcaneus is the bottom of the talus that sits on the heel bone. In the past decade, Many active humanoid robots had been built. However, almost all biped robots that were developed before only have two degrees of freedom in the ankle, causing difficulties in mimicking human motion due to its mechanical structure. Several robots were developed, such as Waseda Bipedal Humanoid Robot 2 Lower Dim, also known as Wabian 2 LL which has a larger movable angles compared to humans. Another one is Hydroid, which was planned to build using cable transmission mechanism, but this process is slipping, causing the rope to fall off track on the wheel and the response speed is reduced. To resolve this problem, the researchers designed a 3DOF robotic angle with an idea of applying universal joint that can be used for pitch and roll motions and a centered shaft for the yaw motion based on the structure of the human anatomy. To fall within the human range of motion, limiters are added into the mechanical design to obtain human-like movements. By integrating this, it is possible to show the actual movements of human ankle. Now, let's proceed to the presentation of our prototype. Are you ready? It's like you're good. For the mechanism, the prototype can perform the 3 degrees of freedom. It performs dorsiflexion at 20 degrees and plantar flexion at 40 degrees. Both aversion and inversion at 20 degrees Abduction at 15 degrees and adduction at 40 degrees Thank you. 
Thanks for watching! Bye!